Hey everybody, I wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through what it looks like to do the modified, modified um, observation assignment. So um, what I have done is I have pulled up a couple of um, observation assignment checklists. I've got the math science and social or the math and science one from 14 CHD 146. I've got the CHD 145 art and music one, and I've got the health 135 um, health and safety one. So we're not going to go all the way through these, but I just wanted to give you guys an overlook of um, an overview of what it looks like um, to fill these out with the various methods. Okay. So if we're looking at math and science, the first one is looking for what animals, plants, and um, natural world things will children see at a center. So um, I'm going to just type this in. I don't need pictures. I'm going to say, um, because I have already read um, my PowerPoint and any handouts my teacher gave me, I know that there should be um, at least two living things in the classroom, um, plants, animals, any of that. So I'm going to say animals. We've got a betta fish and a gerbil because I used to have a gerbil when I taught, and plants. I'm going to pick two plants. So, uh, of course, I know it's really important that I pick plants that are um, non-poisonous. So I'm going to go to that handout um, from Caring from My Children, which is Appendix Y, and I'm going to look at the chart of non-poisonous plants and poisonous plants. So um, I know in my um, actual classroom at TCC, my early childhood classroom, we have a Dracenia. Uh, Dracaena. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my list. And let's see. I'm also going to put a look at that list again. African violet would be pretty. It'd be nice to have a flower in the classroom. So I'm going to add that. As far as outside, we definitely have a vegetable garden because you guys, you know, it's summer right now or spring as we're recording this. And, you know, when I used to teach, I had vegetable garden. All right. So here's a really important part. Your developmentally appropriate games, materials and activities. We need many and varied. So, you know, as you go through your classes, um, your PowerPoints, your lectures with your teachers, you're, you're going to know the answer to all this, but you need three to five materials in each of these categories, collections, living things, books, pictures, activities, so forth. So we already know for living things, we're going to have a African violet, a gerbil, blah, blah, blah. Um, for collections, um, we're going to say we're going to have a pine cone collection, a seashell collection, and a rock collection and you know what since it's spring i'm gonna add something seasonal and i'm gonna say um spring bud collection to where students when they go outside they take samples of the trees you know they pick off little branches of trees and bushes and flowers that they can observe inside the classroom with magnifying glasses um because it's really important to change stuff out and be seasonal and so forth okay so accurate books and pictures um what is the best way to find science books well i mean i could do a couple things i can go to a vendor and search right here for science books or i can just google preschool science books um but this is the first thing that came to mind here um and let's see it looks like as an early childhood educator i can buy like whole collections of these so um I see the tiny seed. I like that one, that book. So I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to go to it. And I'm going to save this picture to embed or insert in my um, observation checklist. So here's how I do it. I've got my picture. I am going to right click over it. And let's see, it looks like it's only a link. It's not going to let me save a picture. So I'm going to go to my computer snipping tool. Um, you can look under your applications on the computer and look for snipping tool, and I'm going to snip it. And if this doesn't work for you, then, you know, Google image something, pictures of books. Um, let me see if this will let me save as the picture. So I know when I'm saving stuff, for me, I like to be organized. So I'm going to go to my 146 folder, and I'm going to go to my assignments folder, and... 
and observation and I'm going to create a new folder and call it images so I have them all in one place when I go back to insert them into my document and it's already named it so I'm going to save it now I'm going to go back to my checklist and I'm going to put that picture in there for accurate books and pictures I'm going to go down here and I'm going to right click and click insert wait we don't want rows just kidding I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to the top of Microsoft Word and insert pictures it's going to pull up all the areas I might have pictures, but see, I just made a very organized folder. So I know I'm going to go back into my CHD 146 folder, assignments, observation, images, life cycles. And apparently that did not work out like I wanted it, which is totally okay. So let's do something else, you know. Um, I'm going to snipping tool it. So I'm going to use my snipping tool. Um, and if you have problems finding the snipping tool, just go to Google Image and Google Image some books. But I'm going to snip right here, and I'm going to save it, and I'm going to put it in my 146 folder. Call it Science Books. All right, now I'm going to go back to my observation and I'm going to go home or insert pictures now we're going to try this again images science books and there is the picture I just cut out so now I am demonstrating to my instructor I know what accurate books and pictures for science looks like because see caterpillar and butterfly that is a accurate picture it's not like a cartoon like the tiny seed or the caterpillar and growing frogs that's illustrated. This is a accurate picture of what a real life butterfly looks like. It's a photo. Okay, so science activities and games. We need three to five of those. So I'm gonna go back to my um, my Lakeshore. Let's go to Lakeshore. This is a early childhood vendor. I gave you guys three different vendors you can choose from. Um, and I'm gonna type in science games. See what we got here. There's so many cool games. And I'm going to say, let's see, what do I like? File folder games, science bingo. Keep in mind, we need to have three to five of them. So I'm going to have to pick three to five. So um, let's pick a file folder game. Nope, that's grades two to three. And I'm looking for a preschool classroom. So let's do... So I'm noticing here, like when I um, when I Google this, I don't really see anything that really shows a good age appropriate activity for preschool. So I'm going to just go up here to products and I'm going to search by science and see if I can find science activities and games from there. Let's see what I can find. We don't want workshops. Man, magic water bubble or marbles, that looks like a really cool one. That's a great science activity because they're working with states of matter. So let's see if I can, apparently Lakeshore does not let me want to just right click and save the image. So I'm going to use my snipping tool again to get that image. And if you don't know how to use a snipping tool, if you don't know how to find a snipping tool, you guys, it's 2020. Google it. Okay, so just Google, how do I find my snipping tool? And then pin it to your taskbar um, so it's easy to get to. So there's my picture. I'm going to put it in, I'm going to call it water, what was it called, water marbles. I'm going to save that. And then I'm just going to go back into my um, observation document, and I'm going to insert that picture. So I'm going to go insert picture. It's already pulled up where I need it to go, water marbles. I might say, man, that's too big. I don't want it so big. So I'm just going to. You now play with it. You guys have so much freedom in how you're going to do this. Now keep in mind, for each of these categories, you need three to five um, materials. So for accurate books and pictures, well, there's an accurate book, but I need two more. So you're going to need two more pictures. Science activities and games, I've got one here, but you're going to want to go back and add at least two more to make your three. Okay, so um, let's move on. 
Um, children are encouraged to bring in collections of natural materials. So you might Google, um, what I would Google, I would say teacher, or let's see, preschool teacher nature walk and see if I can find an image of a, of a teacher collecting natural items. So I'm going to click images. And look, there's a child where the teacher has let um, them bring leaves into the classroom. So that's definitely a natural image. So I am going to just click that and I'm going to, you know, you don't have to save it and insert it every time. Once you get your picture captured, you can control C to copy it and then go back to your um, observation sheet and then literally control V and paste it in. Isn't that awesome how quick I did that? Let me show you again. Um, let's see, science is integrated with daily activities, weather observing. So I'm going to, again, I'm gonna Google image. See, notice I have it on images here if I want it, or there's videos. I'm gonna Google image, preschool, circle time, weather. Doing the weather at circle time. All right. None of these are showing me what I want. So let's find a circle time doing weather. So notice it's, um, you're really just gonna have to search the best way you know possible. And let's see, this looks good right here. Look at here, do they have, oh look, there's weather and temperature. Is that what we need? We're gonna go back and look again. Science is integrated, weather, change, movement. Okay, let's see if that picture shows science integrated with daily activities. Well, yeah, um, weather and temperature, that's definitely science activities integrated into daily stuff like circle time. So we are going to just capture that image. So I'm gonna capture it. I'm gonna control C for copy. I'm going back to my observation. I'm gonna control V for paste and boom, there we go. I might want to make it smaller and you know so you guys get the point now um again here's some more um activities or um i'm sorry materials you're going to want to put pictures of okay um so yeah let's skip on to a different one to give you guys some more ideas let's look at music and movement okay um this is chd 140 uh, five, and it might ask for informal scene clapping and dancing. So I am just going to Google image a teacher dancing with kids. That's simple. Or maybe a video of a teacher dancing with kids. And so what I would do here is I would say preschool teacher music and movement time and i think since this is a teacher dancing and singing with kids images is not going to capture what i want to observe so i'm going to click video right here underneath my search bar and i'm going to find an actual video of a teacher singing and dancing with kids so this looks like a good one nope those aren't kids that's not what I want. So I'm going to go back. Let's find some kid ones. Um, this looks like a kid one, interactive preschool music and movement curriculum. Let's see if this one works for what we need. Nope, this is curriculum. So you're going to see you're going to have to trial and error this. You're not always going to find what you want. Um, so I might just say preschool, take out teacher, music and movement time. Let's see what I can find here. Um, oh, look, there's kids doing mu music and movement here. So I'm going to go up to my address bar right here, and I'm going to double click it to copy it. I'm going to control C or right click copy. And then I'm going to go back to my observation. And I'm going to control V or right click paste to put that video in there so my instructor can see I know what informal singing in the classroom looks like all right let's look at one more all right health and safety you have to look at a whole classroom you have to look at interactions so you're actually going to google um 
preschool, you might Google preschool. Okay, so I asked you, how do the interactions at mealtimes look? You know, how are teachers interacting? 